Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about areas of regular polygons. So we're going to start off by defining what a regular polygon is. So a regular polygon is a polygon with congruent sides and congruent angles. And this is a little bit of a review from a few chapters ago. So here what we have is a few new definitions inside the regular polygon. So what we call the radius of a regular polygon, it's kind of like the radius of a circle. It goes from the middle out to the edge. But here we have to be a little bit more specific. It goes from the center to specifically a vertex. So for example, these here would be radii. So from the center to the vertex of our polygon. Now the apothem, which is definitely a new term, apothem, is the perpendicular distance from the center to a side of our regular polygon. So not to the vertex, to the side. So this little line here would be the apothem. You can kind of think of it like the height of each one of those little triangles. All right, so, oh, and then let's just label S. This is gonna be our side length here. All right, so let's look at an example. We are going to learn and just kind of remind ourselves how to find the angles of regular polygons. So this was in a few uh, lessons ago, actually a lot of lessons ago, when we talked about regular polygons and finding interior angles. So let's look first at angle one. So if we look at each angle, so here's angle one. If we look, we've broken this uh, pentagon into five equal triangles. And angle one is what we call a central angle of this uh, pentagon. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 360 and divide it by 5 to get the measure of angle 1. And the reason why, if I look, and here's the same angle, here's the same angle, same angle, same angle. If we look at angle 1 all the way around, it makes a circle. And we have 360 degrees in a circle. So angle 1 is going to be approximately, let's see what we have here. Uh, oh. Not approximately, it's going to be absolutely 72 degrees. So here's one angle. Now, if we look at angle two, what they've done is they've taken a central angle and just split it in half using the apothem. So measure of angle two is going to be 72 degrees, or the measure of angle one, divided by two, which is 36 degrees. All right, so equals measure of angle two. And then the measure of angle three which is the other piece of this right triangle. If we look, we have a right triangle here. I found angle two, we have 90 degrees, so the measure of angle three is just gonna be 90 minus measure of angle two, which gives us 54 degrees. So just a little um, review on how to find these angles because it's going to be really important when we're finding the areas of these polygons. All right, so let's look at our first example. We have a regular polygon. It tells us in the problem that it's a regular polygon. So I can assume all of the angles are eight inches. And I wanna find the area. So this one's a little simpler because they give us the side length and they give us the apothem. Or if we draw little triangles, you can think of it as the height of those triangles. So if this is eight inches and I have the height, then I can find the area of one of my triangles using one half base times the height. And I can figure out what that is. Now before I figure out what that is, we can look and if I draw all of the possible triangles from the center to each vertex, I have exactly as many triangles as I have sides. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sided figure. So if I have ten sides, ten sides, then I'm going to have ten of these triangles. So my area is going to be ten times one half, eight times twelve point three. So I have ten triangles times one half base times height of each triangle. And if I simplify this, I have let's see, I have 492 inches squared using my, my calculator. 
All right, so that is the first example. Now let's just put it into a little box here for our formula. So if I know the apothem is A and the perimeter. So here we could find the perimeter. Uh, another way of doing this problem, if we think about 8 times 10, that's going to be my perimeter right there. So, and then this was the apothem. So if we come back down, I can see by what we did up there, my formula is going to be 1 half of the perimeter of our shape times the apothem. Or you can think of it as uh, the number of sides times 1 half uh, base, which is the side length, times the height, which is the apothem. So the second one looks a little bit more confusing. I really like this one, thinking about the perimeter of our shape, P, and using that apothem instead. Okay, so now let's look at our last example here. Uh, remember, we always have to draw the central angle. So drawing our triangles from the center to each vertex. And we have to drop a perpendicular to find the apothem of the side. So find like that. That's going to be our apothem. Okay. And, or I guess in this, in this case, it makes a little bit more sense to say that it's the height of one of our sides. Um, let's just put height right here. Makes a little bit more sense. Okay. Um, so here we can either use, if we're not given both of those things, if you notice in this triangle or in this polygon, I only have the side length. I don't have the apothem this time, but we can still find the area because it tells us it's regular. And I have two ways of doing that. Either I can use special right triangles or I can use my trigonometry to find the uh, apothem or the side length, depending on what you're given. So here, in this lesson, we're not going to get into trigonometry yet. That's going to be in our next video. So in this video, if we notice, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So if I find that central angle, that angle one that we found in the very beginning of this lesson, I'm going to take 360 divided by my number of sides, which is going to give me 60 degrees. So each one of these triangles here has 60 degrees all over, all around the shape of the center. Now, if I take that and I split it in half, this angle here, right in there, is going to be 30 degrees. So I have a special right triangle. I have 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And I know that this length is 20. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use half of one of those triangles. I'm going to break it into just the right triangle piece so that I can kind of uh, make it a little bigger, I can use it a little easier. So at the top I've got 30 degrees, at the base I have my 60 degrees, and because this is only half of one of those triangles in our hexagon, then the base of this part of the triangle is going to be 10. It's half of the side length. So just be careful when you do that, that you really do half of that length. Now, if I use my special right triangles to find my apothem, then I know that this is going to be 10 times the square root of 3. Again, if you're not sure how to find those sides using your special right triangles, you can go back and watch my video on special right triangles. All right, so now I know that my apothem is going to be 10 times the square root of 3. I know that the perimeter of my shape is my side length 20 times the number of sides, which is 6, which is 120. And then I can find my area, which is 1 half times the perimeter times the apothem. So I can simplify. I have 1 half of 120, which is 60, times 10 root 3 which is going to give me 600 times the square root of 3. And it didn't give me any units in this problem, but I always want to include it, so I'm just going to put units squared. All right, and that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.